probably the most structurally sound thing we have in this <laughs> on this property. I can guarantee it's the most structurally oh. sound building we have on this property. Welcome back to Jono Builds a Carport Part 2. Alright, it's time to get some paint on this thing and then hopefully tomorrow we can get the roof on. We are going to get a bit of primer on first because there's a combination of raw timber, ugh, dirty cement sheets and pine and trims. Ugh, been sitting a little bit. I'm going to have to find a drill. Better give this a, a very good mix and not knock it over. So we've got the one step primer, which is good for interior and exterior from Dulux. Good stuff, water based, easy to use, easy to clean up. Pretty excited to get some color on this thing so it doesn't look so much like a big concrete box, but primer's just gonna be white and then colour later. So to prep, all I've done is gone with the broom, swept off all the dust, all the dirt, so it's clean. Haven't had to wash it or anything. Should be fine. We'll see what it looks like after a coat of primer. If we need to patch any other holes, we'll do that. But we've corked all the edges. We've sort of gap filled bits and pieces. Got the fascia board up, needs primer. And that's about it. I'm excited to turn it from a big concrete box into something that blends in a little bit more around here. So let's get into it. We've got the paint sprayer out again. This will make the job much quicker and easier. Always a good investment, these things. Let's make sure we're not all tangled up. There we go, that's all paint. Water out of the hose. we go, we've got paint. I have made a bit of a mess, but lucky we're outside. Cute, it's gonna come out good. Dusty, you gotta watch out, because when I start spraying, you'll turn into a white dog. <laughs> no, I'm not trying it. It's looking better. first coat. I'm missing a couple of corner trims so I'll put them on later once I get them and then I'll just touch up the paint but I've got to decide if I'm going to paint the inside. Then it might be lunchtime. See how much paint's left in this thing. Looks like we're out of paint. Look at this thing, so white, so stark. Wow, that looks terrible. When we see the color that'll go on, hopefully that'll fix everything. I've also managed to paint my entire camera. It's lucky, because I got the good one out today, but painted the inside, just primer. Don't know what I'm gonna do in here yet, so we'll see what it looks like when I finish painting the outside, and we'll decide if we paint the inside the same color as the outside. It's probably gonna look a lot better. Be back, see you after lunch. It's gonna look good when I get um, a grey on. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, same. If it still looks terrible, we'll just have to push it over. Set it alight. Just have a bonfire in the middle. Yeah. Oof. Dusty, you've been a good boy. Stayed out of the way. Otherwise, you'd be all. Oh, you are. 
You got a little bit of white dust all over you. <laughs> well, we'll go for a swim tomorrow and it'll come off. My sunnies are ruined as well. Yeah, yeah I should have said that. Your phone was getting covered, right? Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Oh, Lucy says, show me. I thought it was dark. <laughs> Now it's dry, it looks even worse. You can barely look at it without sunglasses on. Check this out. But it is looking better than raw timber and raw cement sheet. It's gonna look good. I'm actually excited to get the roof on. Probably get the roof on first thing tomorrow, but let's grab our color. Big, heavy tins. What are these, 15 liters? Dulux. Weather shield, woodland gray. So I have chosen the exact same color as the color bond. Because it's such a simple structure, I reckon that is gonna look really good. It should just all blend in. And I'm also thinking about putting this same color on the big shed when I build the big shed. So this is kind of a tester because this is an easy thing to repaint if it looks terrible, but I don't think it's going to. I think it's actually gonna look really good. <laughs> Happy with that, much better. A million times better than white. And that's good, that gun gets straight into those little grooves perfectly. All right, let's knock out three more sides in the inside. Look at the difference. That's a huge difference. It's a really cool color. It's a gray, but it's kind of a little green tone in it, which works with the bush. It just works out here. I like it. So the best thing about getting a good layer of primer down first is when you get to your color, you don't chew through so much paint. When I did that fence, it was just raw timber. It just ate the paint up and I didn't prime it. I didn't think I needed to, but this make a huge difference. Like paint's going on really well. The coverage is really good. it will be interesting to see when I paint a bit of the timber stuff. Well, even the, even the plinth that I've painted just hasn't soaked it up. And that's still a bit green, probably too green to actually paint. It's just going on perfect, like perfect coverage, not letting any, no bits is like drying and soaking through and then leaving little see-through bits. Like one coat, you'd almost get away with it, but I am going to go around and sort of play with some of those nail holes and just patch them up a bit because I'm not really happy with what they're looking like. So it's gonna dry so quick though today. It's a perfect day, it's hot. There's a little bit of wind, not too much though. So almost done. I know, I just felt raindrops on me. Bit different day to all the other days that we've worked. I'm gonna have to put that in the shed. We should open this thing up. Monumental day, get the roof on. Doesn't feel like it's gonna get to 36 or something. I've already felt a few drops of rain. Look, it's going now. I don't care, I'm more worried about the wind. Yeah, well the wind's way more dangerous for this. So do you reckon we, um, we get them all up or get a few up, place one, put one or two screws in? Yeah, I'd rather, yeah, does the wind get under it? Oh, Dusty, don't drink that. That's bloody paint water. Get out, out. I'll have to pack this up so he doesn't. Don't drink that one, that's even worse. Oh my God, look at it. He loves- What are you doing? What are you looking, what are you doing? Yeah. Bloody idiot, hey. Oh. Things started to get a little bit sketchy today. The wind really did pick up. It was a northerly, it was howling. I'll hold, I'll hold it. That sheet almost flew off the roof.
apart from that one little accident with the sheet, we did manage to get the sheets on and screwed down, which is a big win for today. Oh, it's all gonna get caught. I think it's under the power cord. How good. Roof's on, time to get rid of some stumps so we can get this rock in. There's roots everywhere. I gotta get rid of this power cord as well. Just need to get these two big stumps out and those two big stumps out. So then I can move all this gravel in to get proper access into the car park. What do you think? Well done, Jono. It's probably the most structurally sound thing we have in this, <laughs> on this property. I can guarantee it's the most structurally <laughs> sound building we have on this property. That colour looks good. I like the woodland grey. It's dark, but not too dark. It's nice with all of the gum trees. Yeah, well, when I painted it with primer, it stuck out like dog's balls. Oh, yeah, and it, it looked terrible. But when you put the dark colour on it, because it's got a hint of green in it, this grey. Yeah, it does, isn't it? It kind of works really well with the gum trees and everything going on. So all of this bit that's open, are you going to like fill that in? Or like, what are you doing? Like, what's the plan for... What do you mean? Well, like, what's the plan for like those gaps <clears throat> and stuff? Are you going to gravel? Are you going to concrete? What are you going to do? Well, I've got all the gravel, but... What we're going to do, we kind of built it too good. What do you mean? Well, it came out better than expected and now it's like a proper garage. So I think we're actually going to pour a slab in it and put a roller door on it. So it's actually sealed up because the biggest problem we've got down here is in winter, it gets very, very wet and it gets very windy. You can see how many leaves are already in here. Yeah. It's just going to get full of crap. It's just going to get, look at all the dust and stuff around the bottom already. Yeah, so you need we to need to seal it up. Already. Babe, you missed a spot. Yeah, I know, I missed a few spots. I ran out of paint as well. I'll fix that later. I'm still waiting on some trims to finish the roof and then I need to put the gutter in. But I might need to put the gutter in before Wednesday because it's going to rain. I really like it, babe. You've done really well. I'm yeah. glad you painted it inside. Yeah, but I, now I'm actually doing something else as well. What do you mean? I'm going to clad the whole inside of it. Oh, so you're really going, yeah. you're really going yeah. for it. Getting I'm gonna sidetracked, do a we've got our house to do. But yeah, getting but sidetracked. It's, yeah. Do you know who else is getting sidetracked? Dusty. Dusty. He's stalking the alpacas. He's a menace. Dusty, come here, come on. So I think I'm gonna go get some Rio, some mesh this week. Add concrete into your book, resume. And book a concrete truck. Oh, you're too handy, John O'Reilly. I've already got 40 tonne of crushed rock there, so <coughs> ready to go. <coughs> what do you want, dog? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Get your stick! <coughs> there do you want to know what actually was the hardest part about this what this see how it just got really windy yeah we got blown off two days we had to stop work because we couldn't lift sheets i am actually noticing that this camera situation is very dirty oh uh, yeah i also um Are people watching with like a i can no, see I a clean swipe. the front but i'll really? show you the um yeah i kind of painted the whole camera you have and actually. i painted my whole it self. looks like casey neistat's glasses it does <laughs> Alright, so concrete, Jono, then yep. roller door, yep. and then all the furniture comes in here, right? Storage. Storage. And then we start ripping up our floors. Is that yeah, the plan? Yeah, we haven't spoken about that yet, but that's the can of worms uh. that we've opened up. <laughs> we love cans of worms. We live for them. No, we don't. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> 